Okay, hello cowgirl chalkers. Uh, we're going to start this again. So this here is a dustpan that I purchased from Princess Auto. And we're going to do the antique tractor transfer today. So you, it's of course available on my website. There's the antique tractor in red and white. And there's the antique tractor in the catalog. So let's get started. So we're going to do two step transfer, which really means we're going to do uh, one transfer on, we're going to let it dry, and then we're going to do a second transfer on. So we need to open up the antique tractor. So I always open from the bottom, and then I can reuse this um, the, the way it comes comes with a little hanger right you can see right here and so then if I open from the bottom I can still use this to um, store my transfers okay so we're going to use tractor body and the that tractor life the text so this is the trailer that it comes with I'm not going to use that today because I don't think I have enough room on the transfer so I'm just going to cut this now with the two step transfers there's a couple things to keep in mind when you use them. One is, this I learned the hard way, there's little tiny um, directional uh, symbols on either corner. And you're going to put chalk on those when you use the first one because then it's going to help you line up the second transfer. The second thing you need to be aware of this this, is that the transfers have numbers. So this is number two. So this transfer with the wheel on the top will go on second after we've dried the first one. So it'll be this one with the one that will go on first. And so here, see, here's the directional little things that'll help you place your item. The text, of course, doesn't have either because this is not two-step stamp and text. So, First thing we're going to do is we're going to label the back of the transfer so that once we wash this we know where to put it. I'm going to do the text last because I'm going to do the tractor part first. So this I'm going to call that the tr tractor number one. I'm going to call this one tractor number two. So, so now for the first tractor, I'm going to do the body here in green and I'm going to do this part here in yellow and do these here in yellow and then this here is going to be in black. And then when I put the next one on, it's going to be um, some different colors so that it'll contrast nicely. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to defuzz my transfer. The reason I'm defuzzing it is to ensure that I can take it off, especially this metallic surface. So I'm just putting it on a towel. There's also fuzzing cloths available on chocolate sure. So, I'm going to set 
this tractor down. I'm going to use this edge to help me line this up for me. I want to make sure I press it down a little bit. So, so this here, I'm going to pull it back on. I'm using the bumblebee paste, the black velvet paste. And the green envy paste with the green. So I've got for ease, I've got three of my squeegees. So I'm going to do. Scrape off the excess for that one. Gonna do this one. And again. I want this also to be yellow at the top here because I want it to pop a little bit from the green. Now I'm going to quickly do up here. Now of course the beauty of chalk couture is that it comes off very easily if you don't seal it. So there's my yellow bits. So now I'm going to do my green tractor part. Which is right here in the middle. Off the excess. I'm going to do my black. All the excess. All right. I'm going to peel this off for myself.
Here's tractor number two. Now, remember, these symbols are going to line up with my symbols right here. So I'm going to peel off the back of tractor number two and defuzz the transfer on my towel. Did it about two times. So now the trick is just lining it up first. Got it all lined up. We'll find out soon enough. So now I'm going to do this black, that black, that's going to be green, and maybe a little yellow in there. So let's do this one first. Off all the excess. Get a little bit of yellow in here. Just make it pop around that green. the excess. I'm going to peel off. There we go. Beautiful tractor. Now looking at this, I was originally going to do the that's our tractor life or that tractor life in yellow but I think I'm going to do it in green so I'm going to take off the back of the tractor transfer Defuzzed it. I think I'm gonna just dry this quick. Okay, there we go. And I just 
dried it because I wanted to. I'm going to wipe off my marks that were my. Because what I would like to do is I think I'm going to try and overlap it a little bit over the tractor. Not necessarily with the text, but the transfer so that I can get in there real nice and tight. So, there we go. Let's peel that back. And if I didn't blow dry it, what would end up happening is I'd end up with, I'd take off the yellow. So, I'm just Spreading that out. That's where I find out if I dried it enough. Yes, I did. It's good. Okay. So, I'll show you the that tractor life. There we go. So, sorry, I can't show much more than that unless. I can do that. There you go. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the paste to our text here. I'm still learning exactly how much to apply. I think I'm probably still over applying it a little bit. the excess. Remove that. So, I'm going to remove the, that tractor life. Oh, got some green on my fingers. Clean up to do on that E, but I'll do that right away so that it doesn't dry. And there is the finished that tractor light on this dustpan. Hope you enjoyed watching. Talk to you later. Bye.